thank you everybody for uh, attending and thanks for having me. Um, I know I was a last minute writing candidate, but uh, as I've shared with you, the reason why I'm running is um, mainly because I think everybody deserves the right to be heard in front of the assembly. And I think that, um, you know, it's been very worrisome to see uh, what has happened. Um, I'm a third generation Alaskan. I learned uh, my values from my grandparents of hard work and honesty. Um, you might you might have received a call from me, a knock on the door, or you might have seen my yard signs around town. Um, I guarantee you that I will work just as hard on the assembly as I do running this campaign. And you can count on me to uh, you know do the hard work that it takes to actually listen, to attend every community council meeting, and to make myself available for, for um, calling on myself. I challenge you to find Ernie Hall's cell phone on the community website. Um, I think that you know we need good government, and that's why I think my hard work and um, you know, I'm young, uh, but I'm, I'm very independent, and I'm, and I'm honest. You may not, I'll tell you right now, you might not agree with me on every issue, but I'll be straightforward and I'll always let you know where I stand. And I think we have a lot in common, even with folks, um, you know, on either side of the aisle or political persuasion, that we can get to work on issues that bring our community together, uh, rather than issues that divide our community apart, like the labor ordinance. So I'm asking for your support, uh, write in NICMO, MOE, um, I have campaign literature in the back, yard signs, um, and I think we have a real shot at uh, making an impact. So I appreciate your support and your vote on April 2nd. Yes, I'm going to take Mr. Moe's position because I'm actually going to do some rebuttal here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I take offense to the fact that the indication is that I don't attend community council meetings. Mr. Moe, I don't know which council you belong to, oh, North Star. but I will guarantee you, Andre, do I attend North Star community council meetings and do I sit through? community council meetings to the end. Yes, you Thank you. I listen to Mr. Moe, you may not be attending. I don't know. It's my turn. Right to speak. Our community charter calls for reasonable time. Power of the chair. I have no power to end public testimony. The body. There's 11 of us elected. Each one of us has the same amount of authority. There are motions made to close testimony, and the body voted to close testimony. It then actually extended testimony another five hours on this. But I, as the chair, I can't walk on water. I can't write budgets. I work with a group of 11 to do that. And I'm going to tell you, when you sat in this seat, there are no easy answers. I've, I've listened. Ms. Ms. Gleason delivers to me constantly. We're fixing a deal with the Heritage Land Bank. There's things I can do. There's things that I can't do. But these decisions are made as a body. So I will continue to work that way and try to get what I can for you. But I guarantee you it's impossible for me to give you everything you want.